a familiar sound, the front door of Capenry Hall. Now let me just check that our distance is good, that should do fine. Hi, welcome to Capenry. I'm really sorry that I'm only welcoming you to Capenry on a screen and not in person. My name is Dougie, I'm involved in the work here at Capenry, organising a holiday programme primarily, and already we've sadly not been able to welcome guests to Capenry this year. Over our spring break we're due to have a couple of ladies weekends and then a week for 11 to 13 year olds uh, called Connect. We had great programmes planned and we're sad that we weren't able to have you here. And now we're missing our spring Bible school students who should have been here for 10 weeks. And so sad not to be able to meet you and welcome you if that was a programme that you were going to be coming to. Our theme for our holidays this year is You Are My Vision, Capenry 2020. In Britain, when you go and get your eyes tested at the optician, if you come out with 2020 vision, then it means you have perfect vision. Well, I don't have perfect vision. But when I open the Bible and discover who the Lord Jesus is, then I see the one who's perfect. In the New Testament, in the book of Hebrews, it talks about Moses, one of the characters in the Old Testament. Moses grew up in Pharaoh's household. He had the luxuries of, of a royal life. But it says Moses didn't consider the luxuries of Pharaoh's palace worth hanging on to because he saw him who is invisible. He saw that God was going to bring someone about who would change everything in this world. Now, I don't know what your situation is, but I can guess because all of us are experiencing something very, very similar in this now. A total change to our routine. A shifting of everything that's been stable in our lives so far. And I would encourage you, if you're in a, in a time where you're just not quite sure what is worth hanging on to or what is, what is going to hold you up in life, get your Bible open, go online and read about the Lord Jesus. Read in Matthew or Mark or Luke or John. And just discover the stories that you've maybe heard little bits and pieces about and, and slowly go through them. Listen to what Jesus said. Listen to how he treated people. Watch what he did. Go through the Easter story and be faced with the facts. Is this true? Am I beginning to see someone who's invisible to this world but actually is giving the answers to life? I'm sorry I can't welcome you to Cape and this now. We have yet to decide what to do with our summer program, as you can understand. Please keep an eye on our website. But at some point, I look forward to welcoming you to Cape Henry Hall.